everyone, it's Leslie from Clementine Nutrition. And in this video, I'm gonna discuss why you might be having difficulty losing the weight that you want. So here at Clementine Nutrition, we really value personalized nutrition. And I feel like this is the, the missing piece of the puzzle for a lot of people, right? They've tried this fad diet or their friend or their family member or their Facebook friend, or they read a diet book or they read all these different things. Oh, this company, this commercial said that this supplement would be good for me. Yet when they try it, they don't actually get the results that a lot of their friends or family get. And it all goes back to, it has to be personalized nutrition because what some people might, what, what might work for one person isn't going to work for another. You guys have di different people have different microbiomes, your gut health. We have different hormones. We have different genes, which is what I'm going to talk about next. There's just so many different variables that working with a dietitian is important to get on the right path for you. Okay. So I just spoke about some of the individual differences between people and why pe some people have an easy time losing weight and others not so much. Obviously, a lot of that comes down to our genetic, um, to our genes, which is why I'm sharing this report. So I thought I would share, this is the Energy Pathways page from the 3 by 4 report. So I'm actually showing which genes or how the pathways are broken up with regard to this. Some of you might be saying, what's energy? Energy and weight are kind of used inter interchangeably. This section of the report is really talking about, do you have difficulty losing weight um, when you want to? So you can see there are six different areas that are, are tested in the energy pathways. So appetite and satiety. So these, um, I'm going to go to this in a second. So appetite and satiety, pro-inflammatory fat, adipogenesis, energy exponential, exercise response, and weight gain and weight loss resistance. Okay. So on the next slide, this actually shows which genes are tested. You don't need to worry about that right now, but I just wanted to go through these to show you, you know, the complexity of this report. So the exercise response, this section is really talking about, can you mobilize fat? So when you go out for a run and you're trying to lose weight, can you easily lose weight by exercising? Basically, can you mobilize your fat stores to use for energy. So these genes play a role in that. So you can see the gene listed. This is the RS type, which we don't need to talk about. And these actually show this person's result. This is a sample report. You might be saying, well, what's an AA mean? What's a GCG mean? What's a TT mean? That's my job to go through all the genes in these pathways and show you what these mean and, and then what you can do to turn them on or turn them off, okay? So that's the exercise response section. Energy exponential, this section is about kind of an easy way of saying it is whether or not you have a good metabolism or not. So these are, obviously there are genes that play a role in how much energy or fat you burn just sitting you know, on the couch, what your metabolism, metabolism is. Appetite and satiety plays a role with weight, obviously, because there are genes that actually play a role in whether or not you're always hungry. There are certain people that need more food to be satiated and satisfied. These genes play a role with those. On to pro-inflammatory fat. So there are actually fat people that are more um, predisposed to have pro-inflammatory fat, meaning their fat cells actually release inflammatory markers, which make it difficult to lose weight and also um, contribute to inflammation. So we don't necessarily want that. So those are the pro-inflammatory fat pathways. I'm going to come back to weight loss and weight loss resistance in a second. And adipogenesis, which is a big word that's really talking about the formation, the storage, and the release of the fat cells themselves. Like you're more likely to form fat cells and then get bigger fat cells, and it's harder to mobilize the fat. These genes play a role with that. I know a lot of really big technical stuff, but I want to show you like what's in, in the report and then um, all the genes that are included. The weight gain and weight loss resistance pathway here is obviously a lot of genes. It's the longest pathway. It includes a lot of genes that are in these others, but it also includes genes that just play a role in whether or not we're more likely to gain weight and more like and that more weight loss resistant. That's kind of like a double negative, but it's tougher for you to lose weight when you're really trying. So these genes play a role with that. So I really wanted to just share the report and the sections that are related to weight loss and weight gain really and weight loss resistance. 
So if you're interested in this, if this has piqued your interest, I encourage you to join our, the second cohort of our nutrigenomics course. We completed the first cohort in the fall and just ended, and now we're launching the second cohort in June. So the nutrigenomics course is a six-month course. It's held all online, all of the educational modules, the live Q&As, all of the education, the culinary course, all of it is held online. So you can be anywhere. You can be anywhere in the U.S. You don't have to be in Ohio. We will ship the test kit to you. You will do the swab um, in your cheek in the comfort of your own home, and you will Put it in the mail in the prepaid shipping label to FedEx and we'll get your results back and then we'll start educating. So that's what the course really is, is, is the $350 test kit is included in the cost of the course. But the additional costs are because we're, we're educating you over a six month period of everything that you're going to get in that. So a lot of people maybe have done some genetic testing, but they just get some really complicated report. It has like this gene, you're a CC, and this gene, you're a TC, and this gene, you're this. And people have no idea what that means, and they don't know how to implement it with, you know, real-life nutrition. They need an expert, a nutrition, you know, guru, a registered dietitian, walking you through that so that you can get the, you know, the results that you want. So with the course, it's, like I said, it's six months long. It's hundreds of educational, at self-paced, at your own... At, self-paced at your own pace, uh, videos. And um, then there will be live Q&As. There's also a two-hour one-on-one consult with Emma, one of our dietitians, to go over your report and get a good game plan for you. There's also weekly meal plans, um, personalized meal plans for the pathway of that is the highest impact for you. There is um, also a culinary course that's can that's included in this. So you can actually learn like culinary skills that really go hand in hand with your nutrition results. So it's super comprehensive. If this interests you, I encourage you to go to the link in our bio and sign up for the wait list. The wait list is getting all the insider information. So the, all of the information about the course, when the course is opening, when you can buy it, when our free live webinar is, all of that information is coming to the wait list. So go there first especially because we're going to give uh, a discount for um, the, the waiting list, the early bird special. The waiting list is going to get that information. So go sign up for the waiting list and you'll get all of the information there. Okay, so thanks for coming and watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell so that you get all of the notifications when we release more content on this. I really appreciate you guys joining and hope you join us for the next cohort.